South Korea calls North Korea's decision to blow up a joint liaison office unprecedented. Earlier Tuesday, North Korean state media announced the four-story building, which was used for talks with the South, had been completely destroyed. This is the view of the smoke rising just north of the DMZ, the demilitarized zone. Seoul says Pyongyang has, quote, reneged on everyone's desire for peace. Let's bring in CNN's Will Ripley. Um, why is the North doing this now? Well, it's certainly a very creative way to get the attention of South Korea and the United States. If they don't want to cross the red line of launching an intercontinental ballistic missile, because really they're trying to get the attention of Washington, right? They want to let Washington and South Korea know that they're unhappy with the fact that more than two years of diplomacy has gotten them absolutely nothing in their view other than publicity. Certainly all the sanctions remain in place. Their economy is suffering. Uh, and, you know, I guess what was the, you know, icing on the cake for the North Koreans was these, these activists in South Korea sending up these balloons that dropped down propaganda leaflets on North Korean border villages. Uh, and they just decided that they needed to take action, but they can't cross that red line that's going to anger President Trump. So what do they do? They blow up the office that they shared up until January when the pandemic kind of shut everything down. You know, they shared this office on North Korean soil with South Koreans. They both had, you know, separate floors and then there were meeting rooms where they could come together. It was supposed to facilitate communication to usher in this new era of peace. And instead, what we now have after, you know, that diplomacy and all that hard work is essentially a pile of rubble and all of that diplomacy up in smoke, which is North Korea kind of putting a physical uh, symbol on what we've, we've known for a long time, that all of the photo ops and all of the moments have essentially led us back to, you know, where we were before 2018 with tensions rising once again on the Korean Peninsula. All right, well, one more uh, flashpoint in the world to add to the list.